Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Doc Rossi, and welcome to another update. And, um, you know, I'm... You know, I was actually thinking about this Comic-Con of 2025... I mean, 2024, of uh, the Dragon Pro Season 7, of, of course, and, uh... And, you know, and, and, you know Season 7 of New York Comic-Con dropped the bomb, and we all know that. And I want to talk to you more about more of this, um, news of Mystery of Erebus Season 7. Um, so... Um, but just so you know that I, I've always been like a huge fan of season seven, and um, you know, and, and just so you know that um, I was pretty much saying that like the drivers season seven might be really the might be the best final season that I'm looking for, and and you know I was pretty much hoping that we pretty much seen some stuff, and uh, we all know that someone on Twitter called uh, the Cartoon Universe said that there's some information about the notes, and. That would be the called Death Alive. So I feel like that must be something that I've never seen before. But um, you know, I'm gonna be looking forward to that until December nineteenth. And I wanna talk about more of the um notes or something. So just so you know that um I might say that real James was actually pretty good at the Dragon Prince because that he went to Comic Con. And and by the end of the day, I was pretty much a huge fan of the show. It looks incredible, though, because, you know, it was amazing. Sorry. I drink water. So, um, yeah. So, why don't you even see, um, Twitter, um, screenshots, or X screenshots? I pretty much see there's a bunch of notes that Queen Anya... Of Catalus tells King Ezrin she will support him during this time of rebuilding as Ezrin takes a sin, takes a seat on the destroyed throne of Catalus. So, you know, I pretty much feel like really upset that like that Sol Rego destroyed Catalus and Erevos controlling Pharos and Pharos died and Sol Rego died, and it was pretty much crazy. Like we all know that and. You know, you know, they did like everything they could do about making this more efficient and more shockingly creepy than ever before. And you know, um, just pretty much want to say like you know, like every time it's like getting their more moments that they ever had, like the sad moments, like you know, but like at the end of the day, it's like something else people might want to ask, and that's the thing, you know, because. Because one of the episode titles is actually a true heart. And it was like Death Alive. Like, I don't know why, but that was like shocking. And, you know, like, I was pretty much so shocked that Erevos will be in his human form. Which was back from the last season. Because for season 6, that he was re he was back from his prison and he was in his human form. And he was just like, like whoop, there you go. And, you know... I was trying to look up some new and hot updates on Netflix, but there is a thing. There is a problem. Because I mean, every time I hit retry, boom. It, it's not even there. So, I don't know why, though, but, like, every time, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like something else. Like, not gonna lie. And, you know, I was pretty much looking forward that in, in Star Touched or Season 6, I was pretty much, I actually just cannot believe that when I saw star touched it was the moment where um um Coward was stuck in the pearl and then Erevos was out and then the, he was trying to destroy the pearl but it, it realized it was a dream so it was like something that was more shocking you know and you know the most craziest thing I ever noticed was that when um Lord Viren left and Viren was, and I mean Claude was crying <laughs> that was the most more saddest point that i ever seen, and, um, you know, and just so you know that I was pretty much wishing that if Season 7 would have the best ending and no cliffhangers, but I do swear, though, like, if they have, like, a cliffhanger of Season 7, I would just, like, be shocked, like, I mean, Arc 3 will be confirmed, but, like, there's, like, something, like, missing, you know what I mean? Because, because in Season... Six episode nine Stardust. Ezra was really crying about what happened to Catalus, so I pretty much feel like back in the screenshots, it shows that um, 
Queen Anya was with Ezrin, and she was flying with uh, Ezrin on the dragon, and so was Sword and Corvus. And, you know, I... You know, I was pretty much really cannot believe that my mind was shook that Ervo's holding Claudia. That was most intri that was most like scared as hell though. I wonder what the lore will be like and you know, it would be crazy enough to see what it is. And just so you know, like after like this one and uh you know, or that would be crazy and uh and once you realize the identifications like you know, I mean, like, like the modification that they have, um, which is actually more crazy, um, I'm pretty sure Aerophos was actually the worst villain. Like, she was the worst. I mean, I mean, he was the worst. Like, every time that he was the one who wants to bring death all over them, because it's really crazy, because all he does was to, was to destroy everything, and try to kill everyone, that control and manipulate minds, and there was just nothing like between the stuff, though, it's like, everything is crazy. Like, I was, like, shocked when I saw this. And just, like, boom! It blew my mind. Like, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> you know? It was, like, pretty much crazy, yeah. And, and, of course, by then, since it's, like, something else, like, you know what I mean? Because every time that Erevos was there, like, he was a ghost, he just, like, killed Sol Regum. Like, how the hell would you kill him if you're gonna do that, really? I mean, like, you don't want to feel like having that victory, you know? It's like something else. But, you know, it's like pretty much creepy. Like, not gonna lie. And, you know, it's like something else. And I just spent, like, so many years, like, working on this. And it's something else. And, not gonna lie, though, it was pretty creepy. But, the more characters I've been looking forward that I'm really looking forward to Season 7 is... Astrid, Cosmo, the Elder, and there might be looking forward of this one. There might be the Keeper, though. Oh, wait, you know what? Because back from Geek Week in September, they announced that the Keeper was in the promo during Geek Week because of 2024. And just so you know that once October ends, I'll be reacting to Arcane Season 2 episodes and listening to the soundtracks. Because Act 1 to Act 3 is going to be on November 9th to November 23rd. And... You know, I was pretty much hoping, like, there's, like, many stuff that was lurking around, but I'll be keeping posted for more Dragon Prince news and on my channel updates, <laughs> you know, as it would be, like, the most shocking moment that I want to go into, but, um, you know, it was pretty on fire, but, you know, it was awesome. And I'm also looking forward to 6,000 subs, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm really looking forward to it, really. It was, like, incredible, though, but, like, you know, it's, like, really hyped. And once that was done for October, and I was going to be working on some more reactions for my channel. And, uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. So, um, yeah. And just so you know, because back from the date announcement, like, which, which Astrid did, she, she would have done that when she just, like, unfolded her blinds because it's going to make her eyes watery. Like, like, hurt as hell because the sun's too bright. You know what I mean? It was, like, something else that, like, that would have happened to her. So, that's why I reacted to the other video, but I'll be posting more stuff on my channel. So, anyway, guys, please thumbs up my update video if you liked it. And let us know that if you want to see more of my content videos, like Edges of Roblox, uh, Mainline Studios, Evan Laffitude's, and my channel. You can also follow me, like I said before, Divine Art and uh, Discord. Yeah. And for Tumblr, I don't know. I'm still getting the hang of this, though. But, you know, it's like something I've been looking forward to, but I was gonna work on my stuff, but, you know. But I'll keep you posted for more updates about my show and my reaction videos. So, without further ado, guys, like, subscribe, and the like. And, like I said, follow me wherever you like. And don't forget to keep it rigid.